everybody. This is Dr. Ivan Meisner with BusinessNetworking.com. I have here my friend Sarah Owen. Sarah is the master franchisee for the Referral Institute in the United Kingdom. And Sarah is going to talk a little bit today uh, about, uh, I think, a really interesting subject, and that is uh, professionals like accountants, uh, lawyers, engineers, and how they can actually be pretty good at networking. Sarah, you want to tell us a little bit about what you have in mind? Sure. Thank you, Dr. Meisner. Um, hello, everyone. I was a professional myself, trained for a long time, really didn't like networking. It's how I got involved in the business of Referral Institute to really be able to help other people um, get over that. So I felt the pain. Um, and it struck me when I was speaking to some clients recently that a lot of organizations get us as professionals to train in our specialism as experts. And we spend years and years doing that. It's only about year seven we realize that actually the acquisition of clients is a very important part of our role if we want to uh, advance into partnership, junior partnerships or senior partnerships in a firm. That's a terrible moment when you realise that, because you have to become a salesman. It's <laughs> disgusting. Um, and so I remember that being a real turning point. And uh, I, I always used to consider, well, what's the choice? Stay in the office. Say I'm an accountant. Stay in the office. Work with figures. Not have to speak to anyone. Have a great time. Do my job. Um, or go and mingle around a networking event with a load of people schmoozing. It's not comfortable. So the good news is... It's a process, networking, and right. very useful to professionals if they just master that. And the professionals like the, the accountants and the attorneys and the engineers, they may feel uncomfortable with it. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. So can, can you give them any advice on how to feel a little bit more comfortable? Uh, yes. I mean, the main thing is always go with somebody else. Take yeah, someone great. with you, usually yeah. someone who's a good talker. Yeah. Um, and then the key thing, obviously, is follow-up. A lot of the people who are people-focused don't necessarily do the follow-up. Right. And I think that's really where we could stand out from the crowd. Right. Because if we see through with thorough, it wins every time. Uh, often... Uh People that are accountants or whatnot are very, they're very uh, detail oriented. They're not sales types, like you're saying. And so there's a real benefit to those people that they're good at listening, which actually makes for a stronger networker. A good networker has two ears and one mouth, uses them both proportionately. So just because you don't have that sales um, mentality doesn't mean you can't be really great at networking. You work on that uh, that skill of listening and asking questions. Based on the clients I've worked with over the years, they're the best. They're the best, yeah. Well, listen, Sarah, thank you so much. Uh, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner, businessnetworking.com. Thanks for watching.